hi i hope you all are doing good so in this video we are going to see that how you can create image swap functionality on hover in cargo 3 as well as, as well as in cargo 2 so as you can see when i'm hovering on any of the image it, it is changing to some another image you can use uh, like other images i have uh, kept it same uh, but you can, yeah you can change it and we will be implementing in both cargo 3 and cargo 2 and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe because I'll be uploading more such uh, videos. So first, uh, uh, this is the Cargo 3 editor and I have uh, uploaded all the images. And first thing which we want to keep in mind that hmm, first upload. Oh, we are not going to add images like this. If you see, if I add the images like this, we are not going to have the code, correct code here because if we are uh, like it is really difficult uh, for now to uh, create the swapping effect having images like this. So instead of this what we are going to do, we are going to create the image tag and in the image tag we are going to add the source of the image. So. Now I'm going to show you how to do this line by line, but uh, like in the vlog I have uploaded, like I have uh, created this vlog, you can follow this uh, for the code uh, thing, uh, like if you, uh, if you want to directly copy the code, you can go from here and if you want to uh, cross check, you can go here as well. So this is my image so source. This is my first image. And if you see currently it is quite big and it is going out of the frame. Uh, we are going first. So let's first target the image tag in the CSS and make this 100%. Now you can see the image is showing properly. Let me copy the URL of the another image and let me paste it here first and copy this image tag for this one as well. Now as you can see that we are having two images here and what we want, we want that on hovering on this first image, this uh, it should swap to this one. Now what we are going to do, we are going to create, wrap this with the A tag. A tag and because we want that on clicking on the image, it should also go to some, some other page as well. So let me just copy the glass and href from here and go back to the code. So here I have added the class image link and image div. We are going to target this in CSS and in the first image, we will first give the image class, which is going to be first image. And for the second image, we are going to class let me just close these two. We are going to give the class second ing. Now you can see that we have wrapped both the image with the a tag and we have linked with the project. What you can do, you can create a new page. Suppose this is a about page and you can open this in let me publish the change first and refresh it now. Uh, let me refresh it again. So this is the about page. In the href, if you want that, it should open the about page on clicking on the image, change the href with only the, uh, this one, only the last part of the URL. Now let's go to the CSS part and in CSS 
have already updated the CSS here. So I'm going to explain you the CSS which I have added. So this is the media min width 768. It means that we want this uh, CSS work for devices which is greater than 768 pixel which is basically the you can see biggest screen like laptop and this also covered the tablet as well so what we are doing we are targeting the image div which is this div and on hover what we want what we are doing we are changing this to changing the second image currently if you see the second image is by default display none and let me just cut this code first and if you see currently there is only one image which is first image having class first image because we have added the uh, CSS property display none that's why the second image is not visible now what we are doing uh, we are targeting that on uh, on holding the image div we want to make the second image class display block we want to show the show the second image and on the same time we want that first image class should be displayed manner and this is this should work only for the you know, only you can say for the uh, devices which are greater than 768 pixel and now for on uh, devices which are small screen which is less than 768 pixel what we want we want that it should that the second image should display none because we do not want to show the second image for the mobile version and now let me refresh this and if you see so when I'm moving on in the image it is changing onto the second image swapping uh, let me change the image width you can change the image width if you want from here like this if you can see uh, but now what we want we want to add this in a column so let me just cut this whole code like this and add a column here I have added a two column layout you can add uh, the three column as well let me add one more and now you can see that this is our column let me arrange this uh, so that it makes more clear to you so this is the the slot zero means it means that this is the first uh, column this is the second column and this is the third column we are having three column so we want uh, we will be pasting the code which we created uh, previously we are going to add this inside the first column like this similarly we are going to add this with the second column and with the inside the third column as well now update the code you can see that these are the images and you can update the URL with the new images like this this is for the second and there will be one more image yes let me update this one as well okay I guess I have updated the wrong one if I'm not wrong let's see so now if I go and refresh the page here you can see that the image has been updated so yeah you can update the images from here like this one is for the first image uh, and this one for the second image same goes for, uh, with the second column and this is the third column similarly you can add more images here uh, like add more column and create a gallery like layout now of uh, uh, for the image one this is the you can change the link from here href 
uh, for the second image you can change the link from here and this is for the third one and if you see when I click on this it goes to the about page here now uh, currently there is nothing in the about page so I hope mm, everything is clear now you can copy the code uh, from the website I will link uh, down below and yeah, uh, now let's see how you can add this for the Carbo uh, 2 and uh, if you just if you like my work you can support me and uh, through uh, buy nail coffee now let's see how you can do this in the Carbo 2 so I have already uploaded all the images in the Carbo 2 you do not need to create the IMG tag you can just simply add the images like this and now if you go in the code view section here you can see that this is the image 4 and image 5 you can see the image name by hovering on the image as you can see this is the image 5 this is the image 4 and now what we want to do you can go in the below in this blog and for the cargo 2 I have also added the code here so you can simply copy this thing and go back to the cargo editor and this is going to be my image 4 and this is going to be my image 5 and for the scale this is the scale and let me remove this so we have what we did we wrapped both the image with the image div and we have linked with the project page and added the class first image and second image for the for the images so that we can target them in in the CSS uh, and let me save this now go back to the add CSS code copy this thing and go back to the CSS editor okay it is uh, let me just remove this and add this now as you can see on hovering on the image it is strapping now and now what we want we want to add a we want we can add this in a column like this let me just remove the code now and let me create a column like this so now this is the column what we can do we can just go here and paste the images like this so now you can see that these are the images you can change the scale from here we want then 100% now full width and you can update the images from here like we want 5 and 6 5 and 6 image here so now as you can see that this is how you can add the swapping functionality in Carbo 2 uh, I hope uh, you have uh, found this uh, video helpful I will link down this URL uh, in the description so you can check this out and make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, thank you so much